Hey, Best of US Agents, this is Kerry. I've been doing a number of uh, videos kind of exploring Zillow, Zillow's future and Amazon's movement into the uh, real estate business. As I've alluded to in our past videos, I think it's all about the gathering of data and uh, how they'll use that data. So my question that I want to address in this video is just how much is you and my data worth? And how much in specific is it worth to, to Amazon and their turnkey enterprise movement into the real estate business? So we're going to explore that and um, hopefully I'll open your eyes to some very interesting possibilities coming in the future. So stick with me here. The importance of data is if you have enough of it on any specific subject and you use artificial intelligence to analyze it and then predictive analytics to create predictions, you can pretty well predict anything and everything in the future. Um, when you get down to personal data, uh, you can predict what someone's going to buy, um, what they're going to sell, um, what they're going to do in the future. And this becomes very important to manufacturers, to merchants, to retailers, to anybody and everybody. Um, it hasn't always been this way. I was born in 1944, so I remember the time before television. Um, it, it, uh, manufacturers sold their products basically over the, the radio and the newspaper, and they tried to influence people's decisions accordingly. Back in the, in the mid-50s, we got TV. It was free because it was paid for by the advertisers who wanted to influence my mom and dad's purchasing decisions. That changed as cable came in and now we pay for our TV. But then with the advent of the internet, uh, we got um, it for free. Google charges me nothing. Facebook charges me nothing. Uh, Yelp, uh, there are numerous websites charge you nothing to use them and the reason they don't is they're gathering data from you. They then sell that data to uh, manufacturers, uh, to food companies, to whomever you might spend your money with. On May 6th, 2017, The Economist magazine ran the story that said the world's most valuable resource is no longer oil but data. That got me to thinking. I, I, I think at one point I thought maybe gold or platinum or something of that nature or diamonds or whatever were the, be the most valuable resource. But they said it's, it's now data. Well, if I lived in Oklahoma and Shell Oil showed up and said, you've got oil on your land, we want to dig a well and extract that oil, they'd pay me for it. If I owned a gold mine in California or wherever and someone wanted to come and mine it, they'd pay me for it. So. Are we moving into the era when someone, the miners of data, are going to pay me for my data? I think we know the answer to that question. On July 23rd, 2019, Amazon announced they were partnering with Rheology and they would be entering the real estate business and if you did business with them, they would put, provide you with services and products, products that were the start of making your home a smart home, 
to the tune of $1,000 to $5,000. And as I've alluded in other videos, this is basically their means by which to get through the door so they can mine your data. So that they can then sell that data, or let's go back one step, so that they can extract that data basically through their new operating system, Alexa, put it into the cloud, use artificial intelligence to sort through it and categorize it, and then use predictive analytics to predict what you're going to do in the future, and then sell that to the people who it might be important to. Let me bring it down to a personal basis. I, my wife and I are considering going on a, a uh, trip to Ireland next year. Um, if we had an Alexa in the house, Alexa would know that. As it is, Google knows it. Um, Facebook uh, probably knows it. And um, I don't think Amazon knows it as of yet. But if they had that data, and they also had the data of other places that my wife and I have gone, and they knew our lifestyle, and they knew what we liked and what we didn't like. They know if they knew we like good restaurants, if we, they knew we don't like flying, so we're probably a candidate for a business class or a first class ticket, is that valuable to somebody? You bet it is. And particularly if it's on a timely basis. If I got a brochure now through the mail that promoted a tour uh, and some restaurants and some activities, would I be interested in? Yeah, yeah, I would. Unlike the brochures I get every week from um, riverboat cruises, we've been on one. We're not planning on going on, but they spend a lot of money putting brochures into my house. Um, so it would be important data and valuable data that if Amazon had it through their Alexa operating system, they could sell. Okay. So that's why they want in my house. Now the question becomes, how much is my data worth? And how can I best sell it? Whose dad is worth more, mine or my son's? My son's 50 years old, I'm 75. His data is worth more than mine because it has longevity. How about a 25-year-old medical school graduate who just got married and is planning on having a family? How much is his data worth, and how much is it worth relative to my data? That's interesting. That's very interesting. What is the data of a 22-year-old startup company entrepreneur? I think that's the gold mine. Um, a long future ahead of them. So. If our data is worth something, what are they willing to pay us, to give us? Well, as I said, we know that Amazon is currently willing to give us $1,000 to $5,000 to buy a house through Turnkey. Now, once we get into 5G, where we will have sensors on basically all of our appliances, all our mechanics, We'll have sensors in our pantry. Uh, they'll be able to track food coming in and going out of our house and how we use it. They'll know how many bags of dog food our dog eats in a month. They'll know what kind of food our dog likes. What is that worth? And what are they willing to do with it? Here's some speculation on my part. And, and truly, this is just my speculation. I believe that if I were a 25-year-old medical school grad graduate 
and I was looking for a house, I believe that Amazon would finance my down payment at zero interest rate. I believe that if I were a 50 year old buying my third house and I was moving up and I determined the kitchen needed remodeling and I needed all new appliances and I needed new countertops, I believe that Amazon, to be able to put that data collection devices into my home, would probably at least pay for 50% of it. <laughs> Isn't this some interesting thinking? Amazon's getting in the real estate business, as I've told you before, it has nothing to do with the commissions earned off of buying and selling real estate. It's about collecting data. Now, if I'm right, and that data is worth $1 trillion to $1.5 trillion a year, and that certain people's data is worth more than others, I think that it's going to turn the real estate industry totally upside down. I believe that if you go to buy a home with Amazon and you sign a document that we can get your data for the rest of your life, you'll probably be able to get whatever you want, particularly if you're at the high end. Now, the people who live in a $100,000 home don't purchase and, and travel like the people who live in a million dollar home. Um, the people in the $100,000 home are probably more apt to be agreeable to give up their data. The people at the million dollar end may say, no, I don't need it. I don't want it. So those are the people that maybe won't be drawn to the, to the turnkey Amazon proposition. That's kind of the way I think it is right now. Um, but this came to me, and the more I read about it, the more I believe that within probably the next five years, as if 5G moves quick enough, if 5G gets to Birmingham, I would bet that within five years, Amazon Turnkey will be the broker of choice for 80% of the houses that sell in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, we in Birmingham, Alabama have an issue, as I am told from other agents, it's around, all around the country, and as I read in the Wall Street Journal, that expensive homes aren't selling. I'm trying to figure out if there, are, and, and again, the people who would move into those expensive homes are the biggest spenders. So what if, what if they did some major program to once again make those houses attractive through sale of data rights to make those houses saleable? Because if, if something doesn't happen, they're just going to sit there and they're going to become a blight in our communities. So these are some things to think about. This is, I tell you what, I, 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 I wake up at, at between 3 and 5 o'clock every morning and I lay there and think, what is Amazon up to? And what are, the, what are the ramifications of what they're trying to do? And this one hit me at 5 o'clock this morning. Um, I think this is going to be something phenomenal. So, if you want to stay on this loop. This is part three. Uh, subscribe. Uh, like the video. That's going to help my algorithm and will get me in front of more people. And, and we can build a, a larger momentum. And maybe we can even direct 
the direction that Amazon is going. I don't know. Um, I, I, I explained this to my son this morning, and he, and he said, what are you expecting? Uh, Jeff Bezos to call you? I said, well, that would be nice. He says, you don't think they've already figured all this out? They're way ahead of you. I said, well, I can't find anybody else on the Internet talking about it. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I know I'm having fun. I know I, I feel just intrigued and, and energized by being a part of this. Uh, whether, it's, whether it's five years from now, you say, Kerry told us about that five years ago. Yeah, um, he had a hell of a funeral. Uh, but okay, that's enough of that. Um, stay with me. Subscribe. Go to bestofusagents.com so that I can share other things that uh, I write out, that I blog, whatever. And um, let's enjoy this together because I think this is we're 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 a very small group of people right now who are exploring what's going to happen in the future. And I got a few other things that I want to share with you about artificial intelligence, about the goggles that we're going to wear for virtual reality as we go into our houses in the future. It's going to get real exciting here in the real estate business and in the world we live in very, very swiftly. So thanks for being with me and uh, hope to see you again real soon.